Okay, good morning. It's your backyard fishing, and some of our subscribers have been asking a little bit more information on the sturgeon. So we're going to show you what we're using today. So we got a little bit of variety. So here's what we got: cured Sacramento River salmon roe. I mean, yeah, cured, uncured salmon roe balls. And today we're actually using a couple different items we don't usually use. Uh, uh, some calamari from the grocery store and some uh, grocery store bought shrimp. So, and last but not least, um, we've got uh, some lamprey eel. Not a whole bunch left, but a little bit. So, um, Rose been the ticket lately. Uh, we don't have no sh real shrimp baits like ghost or grass today, so that's why we're using the store bot. So let's see what happens. Okay, John with fish on. Yeah. Uh, what was that one on, John? Line, line, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Got my little clicker on, but it's very loud, is it? I don't like that. I like running them regular. So that grocery store shrimp was the ticket. Yeah, suicide bite. Wow, cool. Sucked it down. That's well, a good fighting fish, man. Yeah. yeah, it is running away. Taking out some line. Yeah. Oh yeah, you got the drag pretty hard on that. Yeah, pipe, I do. Too. Well, let's take a peek at it, huh? Maybe it's an oversizer. Just a big keeper, huh? I believe so. I just saw its head, yeah. but it appeared to be. Okay, well, I guess we'll be fish, back when the fish is a little closer in, huh? Yeah, it's still, it's getting a little closer. Yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah. Ooh, now I've taken out some line. Wasn't quite ready to come in. That's a badass fish. I feel too great. I feel like it might be a rat. Ooh. I have the line on. Oh, well, maybe not now. Now it feels better. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's a big fish. You're gonna have to steer that pup. Okay, um, you might need some help, so we'll be back. Oh, he's barely hooked. It's a big keeper. He's barely hooked. Uh, do you want the net? Yeah. Okay, in the net, looks like a big keeper. We'll put the tape on it. We'll actually show you the tape measure, too. We've been neglecting to do that, so we'll show you the tape of it. Well, I'll be darned, 59 inches. Total keeper. Perfect keeper. Almost. Bam! 59. Let's see. Um, make sure you can see that well. well there's the snout. So I can, let's put it up a little bit more up here just to double check everything. So. Well. Ooh. Right on top, going across the back, it got bigger, so it's a 59 three quarter that way. Okay, um, 59 and a half officially now, so uh, we could keep this fish, but um, you know what? It's too early in the day for us, and we like to think we're going to catch more. And yeah, the reason I got the cloth over the eyes, believe it or not, soothes the beast, just like an alligator. Uh, hmm, right when I said that, too. So much for that theory. We'll be back. Okay, we're gonna take a pic of the tag and everything, then you'll see the release of this fish. Okay, we're back, and I guess we're gonna retain the tag. Um, we're thinking if we release it uh, with the tag on it, we're not gonna get the $100 reward, so um, call it greedy fisherman or whatever, but uh, we want the money, and we'll put it to good fishing use, so. Okay, we're gonna take the tag off, then we're gonna release this fish, so we'll be right back again. Okay, John's got the tag now, so. Uh, we're gonna send it in. I know it takes quite a while to get a response back, but that's cool. Um, like I said, if next time we learn otherwise, you don't need to remove the tag, we won't. 
this is just uh, like I said uh, we, we don't know what to do so we're taking the tag so okay we're gonna release this fish in just one okay moment. we're back with this tag dino and we did remove the tag 59 and a half inches yeah great keeper in fact the perfect keeper it's going back in going nice going dive down. Bomb down there shoot that oxygen to those gills and that fish should be fine so let's go out there and hopefully we'll be back with another one 